Hey world. Alright, it is, um, hmm, what is it? January 6th, 2010, and I am about two or three weeks shy of being, oh, two weeks shy of being, um, one year on testosterone, and eight days post-op. Yeah, and, uh, yesterday was my dad's birthday, so in case he watches this, happy birthday, dad. Alright, um, <clears throat> let's see. Well, I just took the band-aids off of my, um, my nipples because I'm gonna go take a shower. So this is what they look like. Um, not too good, huh? But, well, alright, I'll give you, like, the details. So, basically, they're, like, gonna be purpley and dark red for a while, but, um, the scabs will fall off. And they're kind of blistered, too. Um, they're skin grafts, so that's what she said. <laughs> and, um, this one over here is kind of, like, coming up. There's, it's just, it's just, like, detaching in the middle, which is where I thought my actual, like, nipple part was, but I guess that's going to come off. I'm not sure. It's going to come off. And, uh, this one looks really good. My left side one looks a lot better. See? It looks a lot better than this one. But, overall, like, shape-wise pretty good, huh? So, I'm very, very happy. And they're numb, so they don't hurt. Um, and as is the rest of my chest, it's kind of like, it's, it's, it's really like, kind of this tight feeling, I would say. It's, it's not painful. It's not sore. It's just tight. And I, you don't want to press too hard on it. <laughs> um, that's about the best way that I can describe it. So, anyway, for eight days post-op, considering I was just leaving the hospital a week ago. I'm pretty I'm pretty impressed, you know? I thought this was going to be a lot worse. I thought I was going to feel a lot worse, but I haven't really been taking um, that many painkillers, like, at all. And I'm not in that much pain. And, yeah, I have pretty good range of my arms. I, um, at, at certain points, I can, like, feel that I'm pulling it in a way that doesn't want to be. So I'm very careful about that. But... I'm really, really happy. I'm like super duper flat too, which is like you can't really see, but it's nice, you know. Like it's cool. Um, and I've been wearing the white compression thing. Uh, I'm supposed to wear that for like a week after. I'm not sure how long I'm gonna wear it, but it keeps the swelling down, so that's definitely good. Because without the drains, you don't want fluid to um get caught up in it. So yeah, I. I'm really impressed by, like, how not disgusting it really is. And I'm able to take a shower now, so... I mean, I, I took one a couple days ago, too. But I'm gonna take another one because I'm super cold. <laughs> and it'll warm me up. <laughs> um, and I, f I feel really good overall. Um, my only pain really is in my, like, back because I, like, hunch over. Because I don't want to stretch it or anything. So I need to work on that. My mom's getting on my case about it, so that's all good. And also sleeping on my back has been causing me so much pain. Um, and I wake up and like the compression thing's just like, like this morning I woke up and I like saw my chest and I was like, that's not good. <laughs> like pull it back up. Uh, I can't, you, but you can't control what happens when you sleep. So I, I secretly think it was my cat because he was sleeping on my bed the past two nights and that's what happened, so. But anyway, um, I feel absolutely extraordinary, and if you have any questions about it, just let me know, because I might be able to answer them. Um, once again, I got it done with Dr. Johnson in Springfield, Massachusetts. She's awesome, and the people there are so cool, so if you are in the New England area, it's really like, it's a really good choice to go to her. Um, like All the nurses were super nice, and I had like... 10, 15 different nurses, um, which is cool, so, really awesome, and, yeah, so, that's about it, um, well, this one's a little bit raised up, actually, I don't know, but anyway, I don't think there's anything weird about my incision site, which is good, like, it's noon, <laughs> um, but I feel really, really good, and I'm so happy, I'm so, so happy. And I'll be all healed by the time I go back to school, which is on the 24th, so all set. Um, anyway, what was I going to tell you? Oh, well, since it is almost one year on testosterone, I thought I would try and show you my sideburns, because they're, like, starting to grow in, but 
they're not really visible, especially in this light, because it's like really bright light. But I definitely have noticed since I started shaving like way up here, I was like move my hair and just like shave underneath it, it started growing back really awesomely. <laughs> so, um, my hopes. Well, I was gonna say by the time I'm one year on testosterone, I hope to have a full beard, but I think that's uh, pushing it a little bit. Um, I'm really looking forward to eventually having facial hair, so that's good. And yeah, I guess I'll just <laughs> stop now, um, but I'll definitely make a video next week. I should be hopefully healing a little bit more by then. So it's my chest, eight days post-op. It's really not that bad. Like I thought it was going to be real, real, real bad, but it's not bad at all. So I hope y'all are doing well, and I'm doing well, and peace.